Jake. <laughs> Elephant! Elephant! Gracious! What are the twins up to? They sound like a herd of elephants. They're being very noisy. Ah, oh, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. You better go up and see, Nanny. Yes, Your Majesty. Daisy, Poppy. Dolly! Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, what have you done? Turn me back at once. Hello, I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> Nanny's taking a long time. Should we have a look? You know what the twins are like. Naughty. Very naughty. I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. Ah! Dolly Plum, Dolly Plum. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Good idea, Ben. Wise old elf, can you make a Nanny Plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly Plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. Wandy, Wandy. Oh, the magic stopped. How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. zibbity zabbity zob <sighs> I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, and I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I have a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up with our magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <laughs> Hello? What seems to be the trouble? We're sinking. Hang on. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr Elf. Lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on, I'm lifting you up. Hooray! Gosh, that was.
was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps. My favourite. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum. It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue. <laughs> Not at all. Whenever you need us, just call. Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue, our go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. <laughs> oh, I wonder what they want. Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum. But it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Baby dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <gasps> this is heavy. All together, push. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking Mum, it's me, Ben Oh, Ben, you sound different Yes, we need a bit of help Please come quick Righto She's on her way Th I didn't mean to do the hat. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh. I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> hmm. Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. I bo 
father. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. Uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, we got it, we got it, so. Stop! 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 You! That's better! Um, ah! Oi! Where's our ice cream? Ah! <gasps> Goodness me! <sighs> I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse! Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. <laughs> it's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Ah, ice cream. Sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly. I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> In that case... Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly plant! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurised spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. <laughs> Mmm, magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. Yeah, no stuck here forever. Aren't we? No, we have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh, uh... I will open the engine. Now, Smarty Pants will go outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Lunch 
lunch time. Oh, I'm afraid insects are not allowed inside the castle. It's all right, Nanny Plum. Daddy's invited Gaston to stay with us. Oh, very well then. Make yourself at home, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, Gaston, ladybird. I hope he's going to learn to wipe his feet. Gaston isn't well, Nanny. <laughs> and he hasn't got anywhere to stay. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to stay with us. Don't worry, darling. Gaston will be no trouble at all. So... Where is he going to sit? He can sit on this little chair. <coughs> Nanny Plum, you can speak, Ladybird. <coughs> What's he saying? Gaston says this chair is too little. <gasps> no, that's the Queen's chair. <laughs> Don't fuss, Nanny Plum. The Queen doesn't mind, do you, darling? <coughs> Gaston says this chair is too hard. <clears throat> Actually, Gaston, that's my chair. <coughs> Gaston says this chair is just right. Goodness, it's like having Goldilocks to stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. Yummy. Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Look, smelly welly. <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. <laughs> Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> da, dum -dee, dum -dee -doo. There. All nice and clean again. <coughs> no, Gaston. Out. Out. <coughs> What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <gasps> Then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. <laughs> Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <whistles> oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank you, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. Oh, good boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Gnome. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Ooh, look! A pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well... I don't think it ever will be, Your Royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun. All aboard. First stop, level one. The computer room. Hold tight, everyone. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Level one. The computer room. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, it made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the Elf Factory. Oh, we don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> the elf band at your service, Your Majesty. Wise old elf. We have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa, 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 Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly. But I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. Oh, 
charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. <coughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool! Yeehaw! Giddy up! Giddy up! Must be where the Queen Ant lives. Ooh. Oh, is that the Queen? Uh, yes. She's um big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt's nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr. Elf. I'm Mrs. Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. Uh, and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> but we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh. Shh! Yes, that's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream, spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Hooray! Very good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some... Oh, look. Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against pirate's honour. 
what's pirate's honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about Pirate's Honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off and away we go! <laughs> Men, Polly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yeah, ho, ho. Aha! Are we having fun? Aye, aye, Captain. Good. Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates. <laughs> The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Help! Help! Goodness me! Mummy! Make the magic stop! Thunder and lightning, north winds blow. Magic spell, away you go! <laughs> Thank you, Nanny. You stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh! Oof! What happened to the magic? Ahem. There was a little problem in the kitchen and I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle for one day, Your Majesties. Sorry. Oh. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh! oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. Gaston is lost. Nanny! 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 Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning. But he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. With a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh. That's Gaston's house. Well, there's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Well, well, good morning, 
Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? <laughs> now where's he going? <laughs> He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Ah, Gaston's off again. Hi, everyone. Oh, no! with all the dwarves around. I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no. What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Da-da-la-la, da, 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 da. Da la la dee da da da. Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn. And I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. <laughs> But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Morning time. <laughs> Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! 
Good night, Holly. Morning time. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said, Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means bah. Uh, <clears throat> Sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A, a cow! cow. Mm. <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <laughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> Yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down. See, she's not frightening at all. Just a bit smelly. What's that? Don't touch anything, children. Why can't we touch? Because it's dirty. What's that? Don't worry, dear. I just wanted to show the children how a real witch lives. Oh, I see. Would you like some rat milk and worm cakes? Uh, no thank you, Mrs Witch. We've already eaten. Mrs Witch? Can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you. Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if we don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So... You don't chase elves or fairies anymore, then? Oh, no. I just... Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That. Or make these seats more comfortable. <laughs> Stop it, Nanny! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs. Witch. Maybe not. But she was. Ah, da da la la, da dum di da. What was that? <laughs> Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid! Let's go and join in the fun. Oh, happy elf joke day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. 
May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality, smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? <laughs> oh, uh, it, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Naughty Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <laughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <laughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <laughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <laughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> and these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. <laughs> Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> huh? Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> Their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. Um, we'd love to join you, but I think we are just a tad too big to fit in your little submarine and... Ah! What's happening to me? Just shrinking you down. <laughs> My turn! Um, will we stay little forever? Oh, no. The spell will wear off in a bit and you'll grow big again. All aboard! <laughs> Prepare to dive! Dive, dive, dive! It's beautiful! Look, Dad! Yes, it's all very pretty. In fact, I'm beginning to quite enjoy this magical adventure. You see, Dad? The world of elves and fairies is fun. Yes, I don't know why I was so worried about being magically shrunk down. It's amazing to be as small as these sweet little fishes. Not all the fish in the lake are sweet and little. Don't forget the fish you met this morning. Big, bad Barry. As I remember, Barry is about this big. Uh, that was 
Just before we were shrunk down, Dad. Now who would be about... That pig! Oh, look! It's Barry! Ah! What does he want with us? He wants to eat the submarine. Any boat with me in it, Barry wants to eat. Yum, yum. Hold tight, everyone. I'm going to reverse. Vic, reversing. Vic, reversing. Vic, reversing. Now we go forwards. <laughs> it's no good. Barry's too fast. He's going to eat us. Don't worry, Lucy. We've been in Barry's tummy before. And it was fine. That's good to know. Well, hello, Barry. <laughs> I don't understand. He should have eaten us by now. Maybe he remembers how my dad was nice to him this morning. Follow me. She's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings. <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow, up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. <clears throat> it's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh! Thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. <laughs> What happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Now 
Nanny Plum. Is this ghastly weather? I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Eris. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed... <coughs> Annie Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! 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 Nanny, are you OK? Uh, yes. At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly, so she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <coughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 <coughs> Plums in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. Elves? At magic school? Yes. We're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now... Who do we have here? 
I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. Now, what's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop! That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But... If you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could... Use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nene Plum. Sorry, Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop, chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. He's buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good, very clever. Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves! Dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, 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 dig! Dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, dig! Oh! What's that? It's another map! That's right! You can't just find the treasure with one clue! Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid! Oof! The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gaston. <laughs> we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little...